layer blending options or also referred to as layer blend modes. Again, I'm talking about in our layers palette here, the top part, our different blending options here for the certain layers when you're working in Photoshop. Right away, I want to show you guys another fact here. I'm gonna delete this layer and also this one, open it again. And I didn't show this in the previous lesson. I'm gonna hit right click on this now. And first of all, go to clear layer styles. So over here, again, another workflow technique in Photoshop, you can copy layer styles or clear layer styles again. I will clear this for now and we're back to our normal standard pixel layer and our image. Now, for the next step, I want to duplicate this and show you guys how to work with the blending options. For that, you can either have a few workflow techniques again. Drag this image onto the new layer icon, which is down here again. Once you drop it, it will take and make a duplicate of this. Let's delete this. We can go over to the palette menu here, select that and also duplicate it over here. So again, another duplication technique. I'm gonna delete this again. And last step now, keyboard shortcut, Command J for the Windows people, please press Control. So Command J and it will duplicate. Again, Photoshop gives one a lot of different techniques how to speed up your workflow. All right, so first of all, we made a duplicate of this. It also says pixel layer copy. I'm just gonna keep it actually to that. And first of all, show you what happens now if you go over to the blending options. So normal will always stay with normal and you will only see what is on top. Then also we can go to dissolve, nothing so much of an effect here. Let's go to darken, not so much of an effect here. Multiply, bit of an effect here. As you guys can see, now it multiplies. So obviously all of these have different functions and it will always look different. Color burn might look like this. Hard light might look like this. Saturation might look like this, because it's obviously then flat. Color, not giving so much an effect. And also hue and saturation, not giving so much an effect. Subtract, that will just darken it. Difference, will also not make a difference. So yeah, as you guys can see, here are a few options to work with when it comes to blending options. But now, you don't need to always duplicate a layer and then apply this. You can apply this with many different type of layers. Say for instance, if I'm going to create a new layer here, Fill this up with a new red color. More about the techniques and tools in the future. For now, I just want you to understand what happens when you work with the blending options. Say for instance, if I have a complete new layer here, a red layer. And now I only want to apply this in a subtle way. I can first of all play here just with my opacity. So either adding effect like that, taking down the opacity, let the bottom part again from the patty shine through. Or again, I can tweak this up all the way and just work with my blending options. So now I'll switch this to darken, or multiply, or again lighten, or again hue and saturation maybe, to get a really weird effect. Difference, and so on, we can also achieve the same effect. Like you guys saw now again, also this looks pretty much like our beginning again. Let's actually switch this off quickly, go to the pixel layer, double click, go into the layer styles, Go all the way to color overlay. It is also red and we have difference over here. Okay. And once we switch this off, you will see it's exactly the same effect as we have if we switch these two on. So again, different work techniques in Photoshop. You can either do it via layer styles or again with blending options. You're doing the same technique, but just in a different way. In here, you're working with blending options. Let's switch this on and actually delete layer one again. Or what I want to show you guys again is also maybe let's stick with this. I'm just going to double tap into this, go to the layer styles, go all the way to color overlay. And this time I'm gonna choose a 50% gray, something like a medium gray over here. Hit okay, hit okay again. But this time I'm not choosing a difference as a blending option. This time I'm gonna go with soft light or overlay. So once I put this to overlay, okay, I need to have obviously the right color for this. Let's select the right color. It's not too working so much with Command D, get out of this and right click clear the layer styles. Again, now you guys can see that I have just a normal gray layer. And now if I switch this all the way to soft light, it will also be applied, but you can't really see it because it's a 50% gray and with soft light, you will not see it. There's a certain dodge and burn technique that we use in retouching. Then this it comes in really, really handy. So yeah, blending options are all about changing different layers that are on top of each other 
to a different effect. Like again with the previous one, our pixel layer copy. If we change this to pin up light, it will change. The same goes to every other layer. So blending options, not too hard to understand. Again, play a little bit around with this, try different effects, and you'll see in tutorials people use these blending options almost all the time.